Leslie Mills last words help point police to her killers. Good evening everyone. I'm Jenny Suniga in for Bill Harris. Authorities are just now detailing what led them to the suspects in a Flint Township carjacking and murder. NBC 25's Jane Park joins us live and Jane we're hearing the victim made a dying declaration. Hi, Jenny. Yes, she did. She was able to tell police that it was a man and woman who shot her, and she gave that statement while she was in the ambulance on her way to the hospital. And prosecutors plan to use that statement as evidence in court to charge the suspects they believe killed Leslie Mills. Now, those charged are... James Horn of Flint, Nancy Johnson of Davison, Matthew Riceley of Flint, and Philip Eason of Mount Morris. The first three are charged with murder and carjacking. Eason is charged with being an accessory to the crime after the fact. Authorities believe James Horn solicited Johnson and Riceley to steal a car and promised drugs in return. Police say the two approached Mills at the mobile one-stop gas station on Corona Road with the intent to steal and kill. It's our belief that Mr. Risley shot once and Ms. Johnson shot four times. And then in cold blood, they pushed her out of the vehicle onto the pavement. Justice will be served for uh, Ms. Mills and her entire family. Now, Jenny, prosecutor David Layton calls this a heinous crime, and he credits the swift detective work done by Flint Township Police to get these suspects arrested, and pretrial and examination dates are scheduled for later this month. Live in Flint, Jane Park, NBC 25 News.